Well then, I am back for mostly out of personal reasons because that my application to university went bloodless saying it went to shit. Damn fucking annoying. It's really annoying when you do when you invest time, money and effort to something which ultimately leads to nothing. It's really annoying. So it's time to just play with ma play this and explore some galaxy. And of course, I can feel the scourge's drag on the ship. At oh. least it keeps Aya hidden. But we have the anomaly detected. Oh, where's the anomaly? Probes launched. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Well, let's go and get it. That mineral deposit. But I, I was thinking about uh, revelations about that. How to get reproduced by converting uh, other races like Angara to be them. It, in my thinking, it feels like that they they have actually gone to. That the race is the Perse or the Perse, the species is dying, as in it would. It tells of very desperate conditions that you resort to converting other species to your something. own, especially if that conversion is also very hostile. Satellite detected. Hmm. It's it's similar thing then to uh, in comparison to uh, to pro to collectors of previous Mass, Mass Effect, uh, as in these these are spoilers from that, is that uh, they are well, how do you say it? Uh, they are clones and cybernetic organisms, as in because of their. They are so. taken so much. Weak flaws of weaknesses during the time that they just simply clone themselves and build new. Cy cybernetic implants to their bodies, which eventually means that they leads to that that they are not. Actually, in a sense, could be considered alive anymore. They're just some kind of walking biological zombies. With however, oh, are able to think, act, or better say, think, following the whim of their Reaper masters. Deploying probe, tracking a huge mineral deposit. But those, it looks like the. Uh, it really feels like the get are in similar stimulus state. They are their species is dying, and they are very going more and more desperate about preserving it. And now they have resorted to just converting other species to their own. And unlike something like let's say Asari, who in a sense they take traits from other, what do I say, they take mental traits from other species and use them to ad become adap more adaptive to the surroundings, which makes it completely different, or actually any other some kind of hybridization species. But let's just go and deliver this very important resistance leader back to the back to their home world. So it looks like the cat are a dying race and they're going getting more and more desperate about how to keep their species going. Uh, we just we haven't checked there hasn't been any knowledge about how their genetic data are they all identical or what about their DNA structure? Is that do they have double helix or 
any other similar status. Of course, the fact that Angari were converted to get and if both of them have double away. helix structure still doesn't Stars prove anything about relation as uh, hell, every Earthborn species with DNA has double high. helix. Welcome home. I never thought I'd see it again. Without the resistance and the pathfinder, I wouldn't be here. Well, it was group effort. We made a good team. We freed more than just the Moshai. And the pathfinder killed a Ket leader. We have a lot to celebrate. I promised to lead the pathfinder to Aya's vault. Well, time is a factor. The sooner I learn what's special about that place, the faster I can fix Eos. Then get on with it. I'll prepare the vault for your arrival. A shuttle will bring you to me when it's ready. Thank you, Moshai. We've been alone against the Ket for too long. You've proven it doesn't have to be that way. It's time we discussed an alliance between our people. Well, that's a good idea. We're happy to make room for you on the Nexus. We'll provide an embassy here as well. Our city is open to you. Join us. Well, now we have managed to make ourselves officially well friends done, with Joel. Report for reassignment. I need to stay with the Pathfinder. Oh, well, he's all he's welcome on Joel my ship. already become a valued member of my crew. Of course he has. I see the benefit. Request granted. I need to file a mission report. Don't leave Aya without me. Oh yes. Now we have made ourselves friends here, which is good. Friends are good, especially if you are stuck in a bloody huge planet with very dangerous things. But let's just go and explore this planet again. This over oh, these facilities. Now we actually can do some uh, more free to study this place all right They're apply they're searching for some somebody an engineer who is actually has some sort of you know it's clear that the uh, Angara do have so uh, social meanings as in that yes they do ha they are not just uh, religious militaristic culture as in, as in the Ket but of course and the Ket do have hierarchy with the cardinal and archons and everything but still it and of course knowing that converting your enemies to your own especially if that means that they also are mentally converted to support you not not that they've just physically converted but maybe they have some sort of biological pheromones and all that kind of stuff which makes member of get species automatically loyal to get Oh, let's see what what has the Krogan say here. Helping the Moshai opened a lot of doors around here. Most uh, Angara still keep their distance, though. Well, well, you're alien to them. Imagine seeing a Krogan for the first time. Maybe if I smile more, show my teeth. Well, it will Something probably tells me that won't help. Yeah, he would probably scare even more because the, the Krogan are scary and especially if, even if it's old, especially when it's old one with that deep raspy tone and those t big teeth and spikes yeah he's Ryder you are the subject of a detailed scan by an Angara standing nearby maybe I should introduce myself 
All right. Oh, hello there. Hello there. I'm working. I know. On me. Scan to be pretty hard. That wasn't your way of saying welcome, stranger. I wanted to be discreet. Noted. What's your interest in me? You're an alien on my home world. Why wouldn't I be interested? You could have asked. Fine. Will you submit to a full spectrum analysis of your biology? Mm, well, well, what do you hope to find? Are you looking for something specific? We share many external similarities. I want to learn if that holds true internally. Uh, who are you? You haven't even told me your name. Danfra, biological researcher. This is my home. Well, all right, but I want to scan you I first. I have a scanner too. Seems only fair you let me go first. That's ridiculous. It's my final offer. You're bold, Pathfinder. All right, scan me. Angaran skeletal structure, muscular formation, and organs are optimal for thriving in harsh environments. As previously discovered, they can also generate and discharge bioelectrical energy. Oh, they're Hold like. On. You're interesting. So are you. When we face extinction, family is our final comfort. Do you understand that? I came to this galaxy with my family. I lost my father on the day I arrived. But you still carry on his legacy. He knew that in the end. Family is everything. Not only the one we have now, but the ones that follow us. That's it. What That's actually very interesting. Like in five generations, ten. How many of you will there be? You're worried there'll be more of us than you. I have twenty-three grandchildren. I want to know what their grandchildren will inherit. Goodbye, Pathfinder. Oh yeah. Well, it's it's now actually becomes a bit of interesting to know think that. Uh, that uh, how long do they actually live and especially knowing the uh, well humans actually in a sense uh, uh, well knowing that uh, well humans can breed fast but we mature shortly and of course knowing that Asa about Asaria we d don't actually know how long does the pregnancy last and how quickly does Asari m mature physically to be able to breed of course mentally it, it may take very long time as in what let's see that uh, in the previous series Liara, Liara Tissoni was something above uh, just a sl or I say for Asari he she was just above 100 which means she could be considered something like a uh, about barely 20 in human terms but of course that doesn't tell me how biologically ready she would be able to breed as in that, well, uh, practically every human in a about age of 20 in something is capable of breeding, producing offspring. But let's have a chat with Jarl. Well, what do you think? I could get used to this. We take turns living here. You can see why. You seem happy. You're relaxed here. There's a sparkle in your eye. I am. Thank you. It's nice of you to notice. You're... interesting. I like to notice. Yes. Joel has very... Well, they are usually very good at... Boys of Bioware are very good at... Crafting characters which are... Especially those alien characters which are much more interesting personally than... The human characters we have in here, as in the well, and especially uh, I might say that the female human characters in Mass Effect series are the most dullest characters they have writ written writ written these. But that's just maybe my idea. Well, then again, it, at least in Mass Effect 2, they actually had much more complicated themes, and they well, they were all bloody fucking crazy. Sounds like you've got trouble. Too many kids, not enough resistance. I have a team that's been in the field for six months without resupply. That's bad. They won't come in. Say they're close to taking down a kid outpost, but I don't know. Well, you should have sent some if they backup. They could do it alone. They would have by now. Send reinforcements. 
Hitting the enemy in one place leaves us vulnerable elsewhere. But you're right. This is the hardest part of my job. Thank you for the advice, Pathfinder. Oh yeah, that's true actually. When you check the military doctrines and all that. Some military doctrines are that, that when somebody is having trouble, that's it, they're having trouble. And I you're not supporting you that. Good care of Joel out there. I will. I'm sure he'll return the favor. Don't worry about him. You saved the Moshai. That earned his loyalty. Still wrapping my head around what you found at the Cat facility. That exultation. Well, knowledge is power. And Where we understand the Cat, the easier it'll be to hurt them. The more I know, the more I want to hurt them. What do you need? Well, uh, what do you think about the initiative? As I in hope the initiative is making a good impression. The initiative <laughs> sounds so unthreatening, like a city planner meeting. That's kind of what it's meant to be. City planners don't walk around in battle armor with rifles on their shoulder. Depends on the city. My point is, we traveled through dark space to build something here. That's what invaders always say, at first. We're well, not invaders. Ephra is of course. is very blunt and uh, op suspicious, but he's open about that. He is not, in a sense, doesn't feel uh, feel treacherous about his distrust. What do you think of your governor? She governs Aya, not the resistance. Quite uh, the question. Is there history between you? I can always count on Paran to offer a. Spirited argument. You respect her. She holds her own. Not many do. Well, what's You've been your... fighting Ket a long time. Any advice? Your war's different from ours. It's still a war, and we're not prepared for it. Wouldn't matter if you were. The Ket aren't a conventional enemy. Well, what's the origins? Any what do you know? Where they came from? A home world somewhere? Each of our colonies heard a different story. I doubt any were true. They came from far away. That's all we know. Maybe Ever tried yeah, following or... a cat ship to see where it goes? Of course we did. Wherever home is, they don't visit. Uh, yeah, Do actually, there must be a sense of roving culture. They switch tactics constantly, almost capricious about it. Makes them unpredictable. They're smart. They must have some weakness. They're vulnerable to brute force. That's enough. Well, that's true. Well, we're not by the aren't mindless monsters. They must care about something. Slaves, resources, power. Same as any conqueror. You didn't see the exaltation process. They treat it like religion. They convert us against our will. That's not religion. It's genocide. Yeah, to hang out, Every but to them has it has... Purpose. To them it was they religious to take whatever they thing. Want. Uh, well, goodbye. You're oh, blunt. You you're you're about as blunt as a sledgehammer, and that's always appreciated. Oh yes, they are oh, suspicious of us and they have a complete right to this, but uh, I personally believe that if you are uh, honest and direct with your dealings, I th it be op it it would it would be good if someone else is also that. Hon honesty and di being direct and honest is in my book it's a correct way of doing things. Even if that honesty would, me would be something not so friendly, it's still better to be honest than friendly. But of course, if 
you can gain nothing from that honesty instead of friendliness then friendliness is better but when you have two choices between honesty and friendliness I prefer honesty Pathfinder I'm Enro Bosan assistant to the governor as you can imagine your arrival raised concerns from his people well I don't blame them It'll take a long time to trust strangers again which is why they want the Nexus to listen to them We've set up terminals in the city so people can leave messages for your people on the Nexus. I'd appreciate it if you take a look and forward their communications to your people. Oh. So, oh yeah, they're sending, asking questions, which actually, in a sense, when the lay person can ask about other lay persons about culture and all that kind of stuff, it, of course, when there is just one question asking that would still be quite would make it a bit of ineffective but I never thought I'd see the Moshe again least of all thanks to you but but when there's hundreds of people asking from hundreds of people different things then you probably can get quite reliable in the picture about how they think Well, uh, what kind of judgment who decides what happens to people who break the law? It depends on the grievance. I settle minor offenses right here. More serious ones require a tribunal. I, oh yeah, of course. Where I'm from, the biggest trade law is don't cheat. Is it different here? I suspect we define cheating differently. What is unfair changes based on perspective. Oh yeah, well that. I don't want to cause any trouble. How do I learn your laws? I'll transmit a full readout. Familiarize yourself with the contents. Personal responsibility is a core foundation of our society. We expect it from everyone. Understood. Please visit my colleagues in the governor's office and the resistance headquarters. They'll teach you about our culture and what it means to walk freely among us. Your understanding is critical. It would be unfortunate if you accidentally violated our laws. Oh, yeah, that's true. Oh, well, yeah, let's just send it because... They let you pass the gates. Well, that it's an trust honor, is worth. I understand that. I'll be respectful. All right. Everyone deserves a chance to prove themselves. Well. Well, I just so so low the unnecessary scrap I, uh, trash I had. So what kind of stuff is that guy selling? All kind of ESO. Resources. Hmm. All kind of ha handy stuff, what yes, but not perhaps know. not the most necessary substances to They also have bar. Welcome to the Tava Town. Feel free to order a drink, or if you're hungry, we have nutrient paste. Not as exciting as fresh fruit, but you'll like it. What does Tava Town mean? My translator won't pick it up. It depends on the context. If it's a person, it means an old friend. If it's a location like this, it's more a place you could bring someone home to. 
What if you need to meet your Tavaton at the Tavaton? It's not so hard to understand. I'm sure your language has its quirks. Don't get me started. Well, th that means it's, it's like a a probably a bar. Yes, alcohol is well. Well, it probably was quite. That's all for now. We'll come back anytime. Oh yeah, they do have a bar. Of course, they have a bar. But I think it might actually be quite appropriate to now go check that vault. So, and that. And there's a bit more of that. But, well, just a bit more of. Knowing about studying about all this alien culture, it still look. This is still well. The war they are fighting is. Well, it's not. It doesn't feel. The, it doesn't looks to be extremely, co extremely desperate, as in that. Those questions are a bit blunt, but there is no harm, at least I say, there is no harm about how they go. So let's just go and go with this shuttle. Let's go. I checked the vault. This is actually quite scary, impressive looking place. I haven't brought anyone here in over 20 years. That's a long time. There's always been an active display for Aya, but we could never affect it. Let's see what we can do. Sam? Similar to the vault on Eos. Tell me, what are you seeing? Uh, I don't know what I am seeing, but it is I'm similar. I mean, I could take a stab at it, but tell me, what do you see? The vaults. They're a network, as you discovered. However, they're not connected to each other, but to this place. This image was on a relic the Archon showed me. He called it Meridian. And it okay. looks like Aya's vault is the only one that's fully connected to it. And it's terraforming. Doing what it was meant to do. The vault on Eos is also present, but changed. Our interfacing with it has affected its connection. What do you think, Professor? I think that Meridian is the control center for all the vaults. No, that's amazing, but what, what is this what is, is the purpose of that technology? If we can get to Meridian, maybe we can turn everything on from there. Make Helios live. Wait, Ryder. The Archon knows where it is. He's already been there. What? Where? Meridian? Of course. That's why he tortured me. He thought I could help him use it. Because he can't. Meridian is my people's best chance for survival. We have to take it from him. Agreed. Such power in the hands of such evil could mean the end of your people, and mine. 
Well, his weakness will be found. And I've had it with being lorded over. But what is that, that scourge? The resistance might have intel on the whereabouts of Archon's ship. I'll talk to Ephra and secure his full cooperation. Meet me there. Really, really strange. Well, what, what that was the vault. I guess it's time to shut this video and continue next time. See ya.